Hello, this video is about submaps in Time Division Multiple Access Mode, or TDMA for short. This is a new software feature for inverse architectures which is helpful in challenging environments for ultrasound. By this I mean situations where the mobile beacon does not have an unobstructed view to two or more stationary beacons, which is required for our system to work. This can happen because of columns, walls, or other obstacles. In this setup here, we have two submaps with completely overlapping service zones. With TDMA mode, the mobile beacon automatically chooses which of the submaps has better tracking. If there is an obstacle, a tracking becomes better in the other submap, the beacon switches. This is TDMA mode 1. TDMA mode 2 works slightly differently, but serves the same purpose. In this mode, the mobile beacon is constantly switching between the submaps. While the first mode is more accurate in good conditions, under certain circumstances it can mislead. The second mode is more robust but gives you accurate tracking at least half of the time. You can switch between these two modes by selecting the mobile beacon, going into ultrasound settings on the right and scrolling down. There you'll have TDMA mode 1 and 2. Now let's take a look at how to turn on TDMA. First you select the beacon and go to ultrasound settings on the right. Then go down until TDMA sequence length and position in sequence. By default, TDMA is turned off, so the sequence length is one. To turn TDMA on, switch it to two or higher. Since we have two submaps, I'll set it to two. The beacons in this submap will be in the first position of the sequence, so I'll leave zero. Repeat for all beacons. The second submap will be in the second position of the sequence, so I'll change the 0 to a 1. Now we'll move the mobile beacon around. Remember to set the ultrasound frequencies correctly, 19 and 31 kHz, and the same on the other submap. Effectively, we have two identical submaps that are serving the same area but not at the same time, and the system chooses the best submap for tracking. The frequencies don't have to be 19 and 31 kHz, but they have to be mirroring each other on the submaps. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.